month I would say I've been a tough one for you. Now you are here at the Olympic Games. How are you feeling right now? Ah, uh, grateful for the opportunity. It's, a, it's been an emotional roller coaster, I won't lie, but I'm here and I have a job to do. So I just have to do that and, you know, do what happens. Yes. How, how did you manage to stay focused despite everything that was happening? Um, I think going to practice after not being named, it was more of a, okay, I need to train to not let this happen again. You know, so it was more of taking it out of the trap in a sense and not, you know, trying to suffocate in a room. You know, I can't really change it. It's kind of just taking it out of the trap. And what is it like since you have been here now? A uh, great atmosphere, great environment. I'm not in the village, so kind of not getting the experience 100%, but just being here is is a great, great, great feeling. I went to the stadium for the 100 finals and it was, it was, it was incredible. And you are, you know, obviously you are a senior member of the relay team. Mm -hmm. you now, you know, how things with the relay team and how are you looking forward to, to going over there and, and performing? Um, we're a young group of ladies um, and I think that alone gave us a lot of drive. I mean, we don't have the big three as you guys would, would say, but it's still, there's still hope. We still have to build between the team that we have, um, work together. We are hungry always hungry and we will make use of the opportunity so i mean just believe in us as we believe in ourselves and we will see what happens on thursday and I, I, I must say this have you put everything that that, that happened behind you know and refocus oh definitely i i, I think a track as a as a you have to put it behind you try to remember it when it comes to, to turn, certain things you track and feel yes it did not go how i wanted to but that doesn't change the fact i'm here and i have a job to do so Let's do it. Alright, yeah. uh, talk to me, um, Kemba. We saw the tweets going, not going, going. Talk to us through that phone call that you got and how you felt when you got that phone call. Um, I want to inspire that call, by the way. So, so my agent called me, he was like, I think they're going to be sitting over there. To be honest with you, there wasn't much of an excitement because I'm not here yet. So I was just like, okay, let's see what happens. Whenever I'm on that flight going to Paris, then maybe I'll have, you know, some kind of happiness and some kind of excitement. But again, I, didn't, I haven't touched the track yet, I haven't gone as yet. So I'm still, uh, yes, no, but when I run on Thursday, then maybe I'll have, you know, that one. How many, have you done any training sessions yet um, with the relay team on the line? I mean, yeah, we have we've been trying to perfect this you know. Can you yeah. say how many training sessions you may have had? Can I say? Yes. Am I allowed to say? Of course. I don't think, I don't, I'm not sure. <laughs> no, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't have to, no pressure. Um, All right, well, can you the, the, the quartet that you've been training with, can you say who they are? I can, I don't know. We know, man, it's all right, it's all right. We know, we know. You know. We know. All right, so we don't want to put you on the spot so people 